Alright, let's go and do what we came here to do. And yeah, I think I've pretty much explored everything. Huh. Maybe finally I can use... Oh, we are at reception and dining. This part of town? Honestly, why can't they keep all that riffraff in a separate place? Keep talking, lady. Keep talking. Your big talk makes me giggle. Alright, down and down we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. This one isn't full of use, so I could... Well, I don't know if I could actually lure it all the way here. That might be a little bit of a stretch. The Duke's fault. Sweet Jeebus. Look at all this stuff. think there's anything on that side. There's an opening here, so I can't... Oh my god, there's still one more. It's gotta be from up here. How could I have snuck in from up here? Kept a lot of nice things just locked away. I love the paintings. again. Enemy. 
Fare thee well. Oh wow, there was something on this side the whole time. Night, night. Private garden. No, no, don't tell me you drowned. God damn it. Ow. Didn't think about that. Thank goodness I had to have had a recent checkpoint. Man. Night, night. Is it dinner time yet? I ain't get started on this shit. Um. A body here? Wow, all these places I thought I went, and apparently I missed one. is in here. Who knew? What's the matter? You saw something? Man, that is messed up. Some kind of trouble in this part of town? Honestly, why can't they keep all the riffraff in a separate place? But yeah, you know what that means? It means I have to rely... Is it really worth going after one guard? What the heck is down here? Oh, this has to be a place where I'm going to be picked up. It's like a well played. All right. Well, we explored. We now know what we need to do. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. Oh my. Fairly well, Jessamine. Fairly well.
This is it. You must release me from this dead vessel. Only then you will be able to trap the last spirit. Jessamine, your spirit comforts me. How can I let you go? I've given you all I can, my love. Try to guide you. Now our daughter will need you. Be at peace, my dear Empress. Star of my sky. Your eyes, your hands, your heart. My last thought. That it's done. Now it's time to return. Charm here. Jessamine is gone at last. Faded into nothing. Her <laughs> reward is peace. You will never gain back what you lost here. Perhaps not. But that is not what I'm all about. She gave you her heart, and you threw it into the void. Two impossible places at once. A prison of dead flesh after a prison of bones. Hmm. You will take me back and die at my hands. That's what you think. Oh, wow, really? More to say, huh? Ooh, how the heck did I miss this? Resounding shriek? That just sounds all sorts of interesting. Resounding shriek. Howling bolts are louder and have a greater, greater radius. Uh, a little late. Well, I guess not. That'd be about everything. Where the heck do I need to go? Duke of Bell's private dock. Yep, that's where I need to go. Oh, I got a few coins on me. Hmm. Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the opportunity to go shopping again. So I'm gonna do something a little crazy. I'm gonna go and go shopping. It'll be all good once that's done. Wow, frame rate issues up. This is like a slideshow. What the heck is going on with my computer? It better not be auto updating or something. Yeah, that has happened once or twice during a recording, and it was just like, oh my gosh. But no, I also think it's this game. There are some... Yeah. Some stages where it'll like just randomly drop to 20 frames a second. And I have no idea why. Sometimes it happens when I go into dark, uh, dark vision, shadow vision, what, it, yeah, what, it, whatever it's called. Sometimes when I'm not, and it's really weird. A lot of weird, literally weird bugs to this game, but honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I do 
really love this game. That was weird. Yeah, this game is this game has been fun. And I do not regret having picked it up and played it. Feel free to browse my offerings. I am proud to say we are still open and fully stocked despite the recent incidents at other shops. Deal sword damage against clockwork soldiers. To Thank think my God. father was the official milliner at the palace and his father before him. <laughs> Alright. Well, I have a crap ton of money, so... A deal well made. Yoink, and yoink, and yoink, yep. Uh, a pleasure to do business. Very good. Somehow we made up for all the Animir Solution stuff I spent Let's on. Let's see, I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Gonna be a sword epic upgrade, isn't it? Yep, that's what I thought. No, I do not want to do that because that's awful. Deal sword damage against clockwork soldiers. That I do want to do. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm happy with that upgrade. Perhaps I should close the shop until the dust settles. Wait, is there anything else I need to get? This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Nope. Alright. Come back soon, if I'm still around. Tonight. All right, let's go back. Crash the party yet again. Oh, they're all unconscious, lady. I swept through that place like a freaking whirlwind. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Characters in the world will notice broken or missing items. Indeed. I mean, I do like the AI. The AI is good. It's just some of the bugs makes the AI just really stupid. Like that maid in this stage who was just standing in the corner as that door opened. It was a little bit weird. But yeah, I'm, I'm criticizing the game because I love it. To be honest, I mean... I don't want to deny that the game does not have faults. It does have faults. I'm just saying I enjoy this game. Because this game is super fun. I love the story, I love the lore, I love the gameplay. Honestly, I just think they need to find a new engine. That's my honest opinion. See, that was weird. It dropped to 20 frames per second, and I have no idea why. Oh, where am I going? I'm going so fast, I'm like high speed in my high speedness. Alright, so yeah, down we go. Locked away. A vessel of bones.
There shouldn't be anything else. Alright, yeah. So there's nothing else. I could go into the private garden, but what's kind of the point at this point? There's one guard there, and then that crazy thing. That should do it. He for real's my main man. Oh, is that her? gonna make me jump like that. Well, I guess that's not too bad. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka. The Duke's had a change of heart. Things are shifting. Back to the dreadful whale, then. And on toward Dunwall. It looks that way. To find a way to help Emily. And to give her back the throne. Ready, then? Come on. Let's leave this place. All 100%. Right. As you want. What? I killed somebody? Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, oh, well. I found, oh, everything except for one painting and 500 coins. I am impressed with how much I did find, though. Through the pantry, entered Duke Luca Bell's vault through the secret pa pantry entrance. Sunken storage. Swam into the submerged storage room from beneath the palace grounds. Friends in high places. Replaced Duke Luca Bell with his body double. The black market heist tripped the black market shopkeeper into opening the back door. Love it. Ooh, we are back in Dunwall do Docks. This is how the worst day of my life began. A masked man closing in on Dunwall Tower. Now it's happening again. Another Empress falls, another story ends. Last time it almost ruined the Empire. Will I do any better? Delilah outfoxed me and I never saw it coming. But I was Corvo before I was the Royal Protector. Before I owned a sword, I fought with sticks and broken glass, whatever came to hand. I don't know what grand scheme you've got underway, Delilah, but I'll give all I've got to stop you. With your allies, of course. But of course, we're going to first. Oh, sweet. Coins. Bullets, which we do not need. Let's take a look at the travel log.
death to the Empress. A farewell. Goodbye, Jessamine. We knew this time would come, but I lost more than just your spirit. I am less than I was. I can feel it. Did you take part of me with you when you fled the cage of your heart? My friend, my lover, and confidant. My Empress. A different spirit is now trapped within the heart. Delilah Copperspoon spirit. Jealous, jealous, angry, selfish. I have no use for this type of counsel. Indeed. The Duke of Karnaka. For weeks now, all I wanted is to kill Duke Abel. But that's, that's not what I did. I think Jessamine would, would approve. The Duke's political double is in charge now, and the real Luca Bell is under care for his illness at Adamir, raving about being the real Duke. <laughs> uh, serves him right. Now someone who was not born to the aristocracy will rule over Sarconis. An interesting idea. In time, people will forget the selfish, cruel man who lured over them for so long. And they'll learn to trust the man they see as Duke Luca Abel. The mirror image on the outside, but wholly different within. One last task now. Hold on, Emily. I'm so close. Leaving Sarconis. I don't really like the overseers. All that talk about the seven strictures and burning heretics. But Liam Burn Burn seems different. I sense in him the desire to be a good leader to serve the people and to do what's best for the nation. He's probably taking the upper hand in Karnaka right now. I hope helping him was the right choice. I guess we'll find out. Dunwall, my other home. Full of memories now tainted by someone else's power fantasies. I can't wait to give Delire her nasty spirit back and be done with it. I still don't know how much of it she claims is falsehood. Uh, how much of what she claims is falsehood. It is true, she has some of Jessamine's traits. It hurts to admit that because I don't want to see Jessamine in anyone except Emily, and I want and I see so much of Jessamine in our daughter. Not only physical resemblances, sad frown when someone tells a mean joke, the sweet smirk to Wayman during the council meeting when she thinks no one's watching. <laughs> oh, Wayman. Oh, okay, Wayman. That's her lover, I believe. The sharpness in her eyes when she argues with natural philosophers twice her age. I want to bring that light back into her eyes. Undo Delilah's darkness. How many times did Emily tell me that she wasn't a porcelain doll when we were training? Always asking for more, smiling at the bruises and scratches. I want to watch her press the attack again, screaming at me in exhilaration. I want her to be alive again. My little girl. Aw. Ah. I do too. I'm gonna make it happen. It's gonna happen. Why? Why? I keep reading you, and yet you keep on being crazy about it. in here except for bullets. Always have to explore. Nope, an empty room. Thank you, Alexandria. You were absolutely wonderful. Corvo, huh? A picture of Delilah and a picture of Corvo. Crossbow 
bolts. We don't really need that. Anything else in here we need? Nope, not really. Where the heck is this bone charm? Two right there, apparently. And no, not in the toilet. It probably has to be when I talk with... Skoklov. So, until then... We're gonna go upstairs first. If I hadn't killed the Duke's brother so long ago, would any of this have happened? Who knows? This damn Karnaka could have really gotten ugly. I'm amazed it didn't. Me too. Not all that bad. Ah, sleep darts, not well. Letter to Billy Lurk. Billy, I ain't know your address, so I just give this letter to a mudlark who knew the lay of the area and hope for the best. You and I ain't got no reason to like each other, but Finnick liked you good enough, so that's why I'm writing. Anyways, he's dead, and I thought you should know. It was that old wound, remember? It never did heal. We tried every kind of cure and poultice. You know what I think? I think maybe the boss cut him. Maybe on purpose, maybe not. You know how it was back then. Speaking of, I tried to find the big knife, but no one's heard a thing in years. Don't know if he's alive or what. Anyway, out of respect for Finnick, if I ever see you, I won't kill you. Katrina. So yeah, officially and finally confirming. All those aristocrats. For anyone to live like that, a hundred others have to live in filth. Indeed. Let's do this. Tyrant and his cronies. Without leaving a wake of bodies, embargo of the mind. <laughs> ah, that sucks. Remarkable what Delilah's accomplished, coming from such a background, taking the throne. Well, let's see what we've got here. I haven't come this far to fail now, Delilah. It's time to face the music. Let's not forget that small detail in all this. Shrunken despot. It should be interesting to see what happens over time. Now that Sirkonos effectively has a new duke. Huh. Interesting. Even like this. It's good to be back in Dunwall, where I met Jessamine, mm -hmm. where Emily was born. It still stands. Yeah, very cool. So there's Cole. So Dunwall Tower. Delilah is alone now, but still immortal. What is Delilah working on? So yeah, I have Dunwall Tower. And Coleridge Prison, and across the river, the Old Hounds Pits. Right sure Financial District, which was the Flooded District. The Estate District, where the Boyle Mansion is, Coldwall Bridge, where Skokloof was found. The Old Waterfront. 
Ooh, Draper's Ward. That was uh, an uh, Dowd's expansion. Knife of Dunwall expansion. And of course, you have the Distillery District. The Golden Cat, where we took care of the Pendleton Brothers. Off to the High Overseer, where we took care of one. Slaughterhouse Row again. Dowd's District. actually not what I'm meant to do. Well, let's hear what the autograph has to say. I'm still aboard this creaking thing that many a calls a boat. And Tom Sokolov, once the designer of mighty ships thrown against the malevolent ocean and large enough to heave the great Leviathans aboard, thrashing and spilling their lives blood across the decks. Majestic ships, swift with luxurious cabins, fit for an empress. Where are those vessels now? They're far too important to carry an old man like me. I've been abandoned by my own creations. But maybe that's the way it should be. Haven't I been cruel, selfish? Perhaps I should be forgotten, consigned to the junk heap. Maybe I should die at last. And there's a chance I will on this final escapade. To Dunwall, then. We'll see what's left of me. Indeed. It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight, and Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I've told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, but cunning, and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. Too late for regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. waiting for you on the deck outside. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. Mm. You took the worst Karnaka had to offer and acquitted yourself superbly. Good luck with Delilah. I fear for the Empire if you fail. Mm -hmm. Remember, the people of the city might have endured a great deal since you were driven from Dunwall. Desperate times. I've got maybe one more chapter left in my own tale. Hopefully a chapter set next to a roaring fire in Tivia. <laughs> Toppling the Duke must give you a sense of peace. Maybe a better day will be born of it. It would be interesting to study why the blood flies have never taken hold here. Time. If I only had more time. If only. There's never enough time. Goodbye, Corbo. I suspect I'll not see you again. Sad day. Food and angelfish.
fish scales. Hey, there you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Let's see. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. I remember seeing that written down somewhere a long time ago. Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. I want to hear you say it. Our leader was the assassin Dow, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to... You helped Dow kill Jessamine. Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back, but I can't. You're a monster or you've changed since those times. Yeah, it's been a while. He forgave Dowd, so why not? I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. No, I don't think you will. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff and I'll go alone from here. Alright, well, I do want to yoink that. I can't I'm... deny it. Traveling with you has changed me. I'll bet. I know you want to face her alone, but good luck. Remember, even if you pull off whatever trick you're planning for Delilah, she won't be easy to beat. I'm glad Sokolov was awake to say goodbye. How is it the old man cured the plague all those years ago, but can't eat without getting food on his shirt? <laughs> In my time here, the Dunwall City Watch was just a bunch of drunkards and layabouts. No wonder half of them turned on you. Goodbye, Corvo. Sad day. Yep. Always have to say our goodbyes. Wow. Yeah, it's dark and mysterious. Wow, the city looks pretty crappy from when I last left it. All right, well, down the hole we go. We got her key. Swift Stalker and Blast Resistant. Alright, let's see. Blast Resistant. You take less damage from explosions. Swift Stalker. Movement is slightly faster with weapon sheaths. That sounds pretty standard. All right, well, there's that. Let's hear what we have no to say. No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider who watches everything and 
thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy. Made my living as a killer. One of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. Oh, that was, yeah, that was uh, Dowd's last audiograph. Billy Lurk, enemy of Sunwall, and then Dowd. Megan Foster's notebook. What day is it? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know what will happen. No one can know, but I have a feeling we will all be dead soon. Everyone dies, just like my sweet Deidre. Twitching in the mud, but I think death is very close now. The air feels strange. The wind is coming from the west. I saw a dead gull floating in some foam. Don't go off to Dunwall, Billy. That is what I'm reading from all the signs. I could run. Finally try to find him at long last. The old knife himself. They could rent another boat. They don't need me. Not really. So I could run. I should run. Haven't I had more than my share of blood? So why am I still here? Sounds like she really wants to find him. Her old mask. Skokolov and Billy, thank you so much for everything. You guys are actually great. I'm actually really glad. But yes, we are approaching the end. All good things must do it. All must good. All good things must hit their end. All bad things as well. Everything all in balance. And so here we go. Off to the culmination of all our work. To sally forth unto victory.